Literally, there's nothing good in and of ourselves, but that Jesus paves a way for us to be more than what we are on our own, flat out. And that invitation is to every single one of us here. But that Holy Spirit, is, it's not an end. That Holy Spirit still is telling the story of creation beyond this point because Jesus says, go now and make disciples. Go and share this with the entire world, what I have done um, in your life. And so that's, that's the Great Commission. That's what we're here to do is to allow that whole, first of all, accept the invitation. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where each one of you at in that deal. You know, you know what I mean? But any preconceived notion you may have about the church or about God or about anything at all, throw it off the table and ask God to reveal himself and show you that hand and then take it, whatever that looks like, and let's walk this out day by day. You know what I'm saying? And, that whole, and when you do that, the moment you do that, and I can say this from experience, not because I learned it in some class, I can say from experience that the moment I took his hand, that invitation, my entire life began to change. I didn't become perfect that day. <laughs> I didn't be anything like that. But my life began to change that day because that same Holy Spirit who was going over the waters in creation, that same Holy Spirit who inspired the people who wrote this word, the revelation to mankind, that same Spirit that was in Jesus in full measure, so we've seen it tangibly, that same Spirit He sends into our lives, into our hearts, to be able to empower us to live the kind of lives that He calls us to live. Because I cannot follow the, those Ten Commandments. <laughs> I cannot live outside of myself or outside of my daily gratifications. I can't do any of those things in and of myself. But that Holy Spirit empowers me to do it every day. You know what I'm saying? Only by that Holy Spirit. If I am not in my word daily or I am not connected to that vine, man, I'm jacked up in like 12 hours and I need to get right back to my knees because he's the only power that makes that relationship right and causes things to begin to move forward. As a family, as a church, we need to live with the power of that Holy Spirit in and through us every day. In us, in that it changes how we act and how we respond to things. If I'm not growing, I'm dead, just by definition. If something that is not growing and not moving is dead. If I call myself a Christian, I better six months from now be able to look back and say, man, I'm just a little bit forward from where I was. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a little bit forward. I'm just a little bit more peaceful. I'm just a little bit more kind. I'm moving forward. No matter where you start at, because when I started this journey, I was on a penitentiary prison bunk as a lifelong drug ring leader, as a lustful porn addicted, sex addicted, horribly addicted to everything you can imagine individual. I was an angry, say something wrong to me individual. So no matter which one of those individuals you are, that was the starting point. I took his hand and slowly but surely this journey has been an adventure of, of my life. And so I invite every single one of you onto that adventure, onto the adventure to allow that Holy Spirit to come into your life and bear fruit. Uh, fruit that lasts so that we can go out into the world and share it with everyone. It's like, man, I feel as if we have the cure for cancer. You know what I'm saying? If I had the cure for cancer and I just watched people die every single day from cancer and I kept that cure in my pocket, like, man, it's going to be awkward if I tell them I got it. I don't want to say nothing about it. And I just watch people die, die of cancer day after day. And I watch people in this community every day suffering from the cancer of sin, suffering from the cancers of lust, suffering from the cancers of pride, and I got the cure to every one of it in my pocket. If y'all want it, it's here to take. And those of you who already have that cure, let's go inject it into a neighborhood that needs it more than we ever could have imagined.